Hello, bonjour. I'm Marc-André Blanchard. I'm Canada's permanent representative to the United Nations in New York. And I also have the privilege of being the chair of the Peacebuilding Commission. I'm here to tell you why the world needs the Peacebuilding Fund more than ever, and why Canada is proud to be one of its strongest supporters. The UN's reform agenda is based on a simple idea. By investing in prevention, we will reduce the human and financial cost of conflict. Canada is committed to helping the entire UN system come together to address the social exclusion and economic inequality that often gives rise to conflict and to violence. That means supporting dialogue in countries that are not on the front page of newspapers. That means ensuring smooth transition after peacekeeping missions have left. And that means also investing in the participation of women and you in peace building. The peace building fund is key. It's a key tool within these efforts because it addresses immediate needs where funding from other mechanisms may be slow to arrive or are not available, particularly after the signing of a peace agreement. The Peace Building Fund brings the UN system together to fill critical gaps and respond to opportunities quickly in order to build peace and a sustainable peace. As the Peace Building Fund brings the UN system together to fill critical gaps and respond to opportunities quickly in order to build and sustain peace. And it supports and empowers civil society to be active promoters of peace in their communities. Because challenges to peace don't respect order, the Peace Building Fund has pioneered cross-border and regional initiatives to address risk of conflicts and strengthen resilience. The fund has also been a pioneer in promoting gender equality, with more than 40% of its funding dedicated to promoting gender equality and women's empowerment. Since 2006, Canada has given over 86 million to the fund. And when the Secretary General called for a quantum leap in scaling up support to the Peace Building Fund as the embodiment of its prevention agenda, Canada answered present. But demand for the Peace Building Fund is support is rising faster than money is coming in. And for the first time in 2019, it had to postpone or deny a request due to lack of funds. This is why Canada provided an additional $6 million earlier this year to ensure that crucial programming to support transition from peacekeeping to peace building in Haiti and Sudan would go forward. This brings Canada's new investment to the fund to 21 million for the years 2019 to 2021. Now, as the world faces its greatest test since the funding of the United Nations 75 years ago, we cannot let the COVID-19 pandemic erase hard-won gains in preventing conflict and sustaining peace. Thank you. Merci.